Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my preview slash predictions for WWE Roadblock, end of the line. I know the pay-per-view's already over. It's 1.20 in the morning, but I figured better late than never, right? Um, I just got really busy with school. Like I said, I have finals week. Like I've been saying, I have finals week going. So you, you got, this is my last week of school. I promise after this week, I will be uploading a ton of videos. On all my channels, on Wrestling Fortune Forty Four, which you can subscribe to, and my own Talking Into channel, which you can subscribe to, as well as this channel, because there's been a lot of videos that I've been haven't been able to upload because I disappeared for a while on YouTube. So I'm trying to make a change, and next year is going to be that change. So I hope you guys enjoy that stuff. Um, but right now, I'm here to give you my preview slash predictions for WWE Roadblock. Now, the problem is I can't look up the match card because if I do that, I'll get spoiled of what will happen on the pay-per-view. So I'm just going to remember the matches off the top of my head. But I think I remember them pretty well. I've you know, been watching the shows all week. I, w I just watched Tribute to the Troops. So I think I can get these this show. So as for the show, I'm not looking forward to it all that much. I don't, I'm not going to say like I think the show is going to suck. It's just one of those things where it's... Not doesn't really feel like a big deal. What I probably will say coming out of this show was I'm going to say that it was either a good show, um, but it felt like a Monday Night Raw. You'll probably forget about the pay-per-view in like a week. Um, or I'm probably going to say, you know, that it sucked, but it's not, and, and, and bitch about it. So, and complain about the company. That's no, that's probably what's going to happen. Um... But, I mean, I'm not going to lie. These matches don't look all that bad that are on the show. You have good quality matches. I believe you have... Let me just count them. You have... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just going to take me a minute. Uh, so, let me just count the matches. You have this match. I don't... You have the kickoff. You have the tag title match. You got the cruiserweights match. You got the woman. You got... The, the one of the singles matches and I think another singles match um, that's going to be 10 minutes long and you have a the main event or what is promoted to be the main event. So, you know, you have seven matches on this show. I think they have a good match structure. You know, every match has some type of purpose, has some type of meaning except maybe one match. Um, so that's good. So I, I, I don't think this show is going to completely suck. What I expect to get out of this show is probably like another Monday Night Raw, except on the WWE Network. That's what really what I expect to get out of this show. That's really what I expect. I don't see any other outcome, really, you know? So if I get that, I will be satisfied, I guess, because this is that's just what I expect to get out of it. Uh, let me give you my preview and predictions for the show. So we have the kickoff. I believe it's supposed to be Big Cass versus Rusev. I'm actually quite interested in the storyline, not going to lie. I kind of liked how they've done different stuff with it, where they had Enzo Amore naked in front of Lana, hidden on her. I thought that was actually kind of edgy, kind of cool. And then Russo comes up and yells at him. And then, you know, Russo's been kicking his ass. And then um, the whole scene where they did the hotel trap, where Russo beat the crap out of him. Lana was going to act like she was going to have sex with him. And then Big Cass beat, beat the crap out of Rusev. So you, you, because he's defending Enzo and Moore, so you do have some storylines here. You do have a reason, and it's actually a good storyline. As for who's going to win, I'm going to say that Rusev's going to win. I don't really see Big Cass winning. I see Rusev looking dominant and winning. Um, I wouldn't complain if Big Cass won by any stretch of the ma imagination, but I think Rusev's going to win this match. Um, then we have, uh, I don't know what match is going to really kick off the show. If I was to decide, I'd say the um, the cruiserweight ma um, championship match, just because you can get, you know, all the flips and stuff out of the way. You have uh, cruiserweight champion Rich Swan versus the Brian Kendrick versus T.J. Perkins. Now this, I am somewhat interested in. Um, you have Rich Swan who beat um, the Brian Kendrick to become the new cruiserweight champion um, at two, at the first epi ever episode WWE Two Hundred Five Live, and then you have. Um, then you have him retain his title, and you're kind of teasing maybe some sort of heel turn with TJ Perkins, I think. Um, you have uh, TJ Perkins, who has a rematch 
And you have Lee Brian Kendrick, who also has a rematch. So I actually kind of like this feud in a way. At, at least it's something for the Cruiserweights. It's, you know, at least it has a little bit more emphasis because they have the show. And I think that is working to the Cruiserweights' benefit, even though I don't think it's working as well as it should be. Um, but overall, who I think is going to win, I think which per... No, sorry. I think Rich Swan's going to win this match and retain the Cruiserweight Championship. He just won the championship. I don't see him losing it. Um, I think they're going to have him have a nice long reign with the title. Maybe going into the, into either to the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania. One of the two. Or maybe WrestleMania. That'd be nice. Um, and I'm actually, uh, you know, looking forward to it. And I do think after this match, I don't know if it will be in this match, but I think that uh, TJ Perkins at some point is going to turn heel and feud with Rich Swan because I think a necessary heel turn is destined for TJ Perkins because he's just so bland as a baby face and he just the way his video package work makes sense for him to be a heel. So I think he needs to turn heel. Um, and then we have the uh, WWE War Tag Team Championship match. WWE War Tag Team Champions The New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, I'm going to say The New Day retains. They just broke Demolition's record of uh, longest reigning tag champions. I don't think they just have them lose their belts randomly. that just be random. I think if they are going to lose the belts, it'll either be at the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania. I really wouldn't complain in a sense if Cesaro and Sheamus won because we need a change in the tag team division. The New Day have held the titles way too long, so it's time for a change, and I hope we get that change in Cesaro and Sheamus. After this, I do think that Cesaro and... Well, that Sheamus is going to beat the crap out of Cesaro and just turn on him just because of the fact that uh, if they if Cesaro and Sheamus do lose, there's really no reason for them to be a team anymore. So, <clears throat> And then we have... Um, I'm just making sure I got all the matches. Um, uh, let me think. I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm not... And then we have uh, Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman in a 10-minute um, time limit match. Uh, this match, I actually really am interested in with the whole way they built it up with having Mick Foley acting like he doesn't see something in Sami Zayn, that he, he doesn't think he can beat Braun Strowman, and trying to to, to get Sami Zayn to go into that dark side, the whole trade thing they were going to do on Smack, for, for having him go to SmackDown. I thought that was awesome. Um, and they've actually got me to really be interested in this match. I'm really looking forward to it. And who has for... I think he's going to win. Now, I am going to pick a winner, but what I think is actually going to happen is I think Blunt, Sami Zayn will survive 10 minutes because the, the whole thing is it's a 10-minute time limit, so the match is only 10 minutes. I do think Sami Zayn will survive and the match will be over, but, you know, it, Blunt Strowman will still kind of kill Sami Zayn. I think this is a way to protect Sami Zayn so he doesn't have to lose and to protect Blunt Strowman because so he doesn't have to lose. So it's kind of a win-win. But this will make Sami Zayn look good. Because he survived 10 minutes with Braun Strowman. And this was going to make Braun Strowman because he killed Sami Zayn. Um, look good. But if there was going to be a winner, it will be Braun Strowman. I don't see Sami Zayn beating Braun Strowman. I think if Braun Strowman were to lose, I think it would be to like a much dominant superstar. Maybe like a Samoa Joe coming up from NXT. Something like that. Then we have... Um, I think that's all. Then we have the... Uh, the three main matches on this show. We have Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. A match I'm actually looking forward to. You know, we've seen it to death, though. Um, but they have really good matches, and this, they make sense because Chris Jericho has cost Seth Rollins the WWE Universal Championship a handful of times. Um, and, um, you know, you have Seth Rollins, who it says that he wants to get rid of Chris Jericho so he can become the WWE Universal Champion and get his hands on Triple H, which makes complete sense. So, I, as for the winner, I'm, I'm going to say that Seth Rollins is going to win this match just because of the fact that you have Seth Rollins who's lost a lot of his big matches lately. He lost at SummerSlam. He lost at uh, Clash of Champions. He lost at Hell in a Cell. And technically, he lost at Survivor Series. So, he needs to get a big victory because he hasn't had a victory since he's turned face. So, this will be that chance for him to get that victory. So, Seth Rollins, I think, is going to beat Chris Jericho. I don't know if Chris Jericho is going to be gone after this because it seems like he may be because they kind of they kind of have an Owens and Jericho not be friends now. So I think that that's going to happen, but we're going to have to wait and see. And then we have the two main matches that you can make the arguments for main event in. You have Reigns and Owens. That's the title match that has the main event. Or you, or you have Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. That match is probably going to be selling the pay-per-view and the match that's going to be ending the feud. 
So I'm going to tell you that the match I think that should main event is the women's match. So I'm going to give you my prediction for the Universal Championship match first. We have the uh, WWE Universal Championship match. WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Um, I uh, I am looking forward to this match. You know, I, it's just I'm not interested. There's really no storyline to it. There's just they're just having a match for no reason really. So it's just kind of eh. You know, yeah, but they do have good matches together, so that's a plus. You have know, Roman Reigns just beat, who beat Kevin Owens a few weeks ago to get this match, so that's kind of the reason it's happening. You know, Kevin Owens is blaming him for the reason that Team Raw lost to Team SmackDown, so it's kind of like, eh. So, um, whatever. Um, I'm gonna, and you have Roman, and the thing is, is that Kevin Owens is gonna be doing this, is going to be having this match by himself because. Recently, he's turned on him and Jericho have been having a falling out, so I think that's good. So what I think is going to happen is I think Owens is going to win 100% clean. They cannot have Roman Reigns hold both the U.S. title and the WWE Universal Championship. That would just suck. Um, I don't think that should happen. I think Owens is the guy either to go into the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania as WWE Universal Champion. I think that would be awesome. So we're going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to say that Kevin Owens is going to retain his WWE Universal Championship. And then we have the main event. Well, the match that I think should main event. It's a WWE Raw Women's Championship match. A third, Actually, I should be... It's a 30-woman Iron Man match for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. WWE Raw Women's Champion Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. You know, um, as much as I've trashed the fact that they've had match after match, they've had title switch after title switch, this has been a good feud. You have it go all the way back from NXT two years ago, um, where they were coming up together. You know, and then you have Charlotte, you have them together as BFFs, and then you have Charlotte you have Sa and Sasha Banks break up, and then you have Charlotte um, become the NXT Women's Champion, and then they have the match at NXT TakeOver, um... I believe it's called All Our Evolution, but I could be one. And Charlotte won there, and then Sasha Banks won the title in the Fatal Four Way at NXT Takeover um, Rival. And then they had the rematch, the two NXT Women's Title matches, NXT Women's Title matches afterwards. Then they came up together with Becky Lynch um, as part of the Women's Revolution. They were both um, where they joined the stables, which was dumb. Then they had the big match at SummerSlam with the Team PCB versus Team Bad versus Team Bella. Um, then you have Charlotte win the Divas Championship and then the Champions. And then um, you have the whole thing that they did at the Royal Rumble where Sasha Banks finally returned. And that kind of kicked off the feud in a high gear. You have the triple threat match with Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 32 um, for the new Women's Championship. And then you have Sasha Banks go away for a while and then you have Sasha Banks come back. Um, they have the tag match at Battleground with Dana Brooke, um, teaming with Charlotte, and Bailey teaming with Sasha Banks. And then you have the match, um, the first match on Raw after the draft, where Sasha Banks won her first Women's Championship. And then you have Charlotte Luke. Then you have the rematch at SummerSlam, where Charlotte regains the championship. And then you have the triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship with Bailey involved. And then you have, um, the, uh, Main event, they, you have them, uh, the rematch in the main event of War um, a couple weeks later, uh, where S Sasha won again, and then you have the main, and then you have them um, going to to the main event of a pay per view, and the first time uh, maybe ever, um, for and and the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match between Sasha Banks and Charlotte, um, and you have Charlotte win back the title. Eh. You know, and then you have, um, you have, um, Sasha Banks win back the championship in the first ever women's false count anywhere match, which I don't know if that was the first ever false count women's anywhere match, but we'll go with that. And then you have this match, it's going to be the last match this time because, as we're told, there's no rematch clause after this match. And, like, I'm looking forward to this match. I think this feud's been great. Minus the fact that they've changed the titles. If I was to rebook this feud, I would have Sasha Banks hold the title um, up to Hell in a Cell and then have Charlotte win it there. And then you can have Charlotte and Sasha Banks get a rematch. I wouldn't have had Sasha Banks lose the title. I understand she got a hood um, back and then she got engaged. So it was just kind of eh. 
So this match here is going to be finally the final match. And I'm hoping that Sasha Banks wins. I'm picking Sasha Banks. I think Sasha Banks is going to go over in this match and retain her title. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if Charlotte won because we know how this works. Sasha wins on Raw and Charlotte wins at the pay-per-views. And they have the whole thing where Charlotte's ever lost on pay-per-view. But it just wouldn't make any sense. This is the perfect chance to have Charlotte finally lose on pay-per-view and have Sasha Banks have a babyface moment and retain her Raw Women's Championship. Because if you're going to put the title on Sasha, leave it on Sasha. That's just how I go by it. But those are my predictions. Let me say them again. I predict that Rusev is going to beat Big Cass. I predict that... um. Rich Swan is going to retain his Cruiserweight Championship against the Brian Kendrick and TJ Perkins. I predict that the New Day are going to retain their WWE Raw Tag Team Championships against Cesaro and Sheamus. I predict that I'm going to make um, Braun Strowman is going to beat Sami Zayn. I predict that um, Seth Rollins is going to beat Chris Jericho. Um, Kevin Owens is going to retain his Universal Championship against. Roman Reigns, and I predict that uh, Sasha Banks is going to retain a Raw Women's Championship in the 30-minute Iron Man match against Charlotte. So those are my predictions. Make sure to subscribe to all the channels I mentioned earlier in the video on the Talking to Western Fortune 44 and other channels like that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.